Hello students welcome to success yatra channel and today in this video i will cover garot shading in my previous video i covered constant intensity shading and the disadvantage of that method of shading was discontinuity so to overcome that discontinuity we use uh, garot shading in computer graphics okay coming to its explanation garot shading uses intensity interpolation method now what is interpolation method it is a mathematical method now intensity interpolation method means that for example these are the two points if i know the intensity at these two point then any point between these two points we can find the new intensity okay we can find the approximate intensity between do uh, these two points if we know the intensity of these two points i can find the intensity of any point that lies in between these two points okay coming to the second point shades a polygon by linearly interpolating intensity values across the surface now as this garot shading uses intensity interpolation method so how it will shade a polygon by linearly interpolating intensity values across the surface okay the third point is intensity values for each polygon are matched with the values of the adjacent polygons along the common edges thus eliminating the intensity discontinuities that can occur in flat shading now in flat shading also known as constant intensity shading that i have covered in my previous video its disadvantage was discontinuity so that can be overcome by this method how it can be overcome the polygons are matched with the values of the adjacent polygon along the common edges what is matched the intensity value for example i have one polygon that polygon intensity is matched with the adjacent polygons in order to remove the discontinuity okay coming to the steps of garot shading uh, first step is determine the average unit normal vector at each polygon vertex now for example i have this diagram i want to determine the average of the unit vector along Uh, no uh, sorry average unit normal vector along this vertex now how i will calculate uh, those uh, polygons that are connecting with this point for example this polygon is connecting with this point this polygon is also connecting with this point this polygon also and this one also so i will calculate the average of these four normals for this polygon the normal is n1 for this is n2 n3 and n4 okay now how how i will calculate the average n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 upon the modulus of n1 n2 n3 and n4 okay this is used to determine the average unit normal vector those polygons are connected with this point that will help me to uh, calculate the average unit normal vector with that formula i have written here okay in the same way for example i want to calculate the average unit normal vector at this point then what i will do then i will take the normals of these three polygons because with this point only these three polygons are connected this one this one and this one okay second point is apply illumination model at each vertex to calculate the vertex intensity no illumination model in computer graphics is used to calculate the intensity at a given point now how i will calculate the intensity at the vertex by applying illumination model third point is linearly interpolate the vertex intensity over the surface of the polygon after calculating the intensity of the point what we do is we linearly interpolate the vertex and as it use interpolation method so what we will do linearly interpolate the vertex intensity over the surface of the polygon this i will explain you with the help of example okay now for each scan line the intensity at the intersection of the scan line with the polygon edge is linearly interpolated okay coming to the example wait see this is the example i have a diagram and this is the scan line now at this scan line three points are intersecting and i want to calculate the intensity of these three points okay now how i will do it at point 1 let me take the coordinate x1 and y1 at point 2 let me take coordinate x2 and y2 at point 3 let me take the coordinate x3 comma y3 now for uh, if i want to calculate the intensity for fourth point now what will be the intensity i4 okay for 1 and 2 i already know the intensity 
this is i1 and i2 this is what we do in interpolation method we already know the intensity of two points and we have to calculate the intensity coming between those two points okay intensity of any point that comes in between those two points for example in this i have to calculate the intensity of the point 4 now how we do the point 4 is connected by point 1 and point 2 it comes in between point 1 and point 2 so making a formula with the help of this in denominator which two points i will uh, put those point that uh, intensity i already know i know intensity of point 1 and 2 so y1 minus y2 i will use the y coordinate y1 minus y2 and same for the other one also denominator will remain same y1 minus y2 in numerator now as you can see in denominator uh, y2 is negative and y1 is positive so uh, this will make easy to learn the formula we have to keep y1 positive and y2 negative in numerator here y2 is negative so i have to minus it for y uh, uh, from y4 and as y1 is positive so i will keep it positive and minus y4 from y1 because i have to keep it positive okay now if i am using y2 in numerator then i will take the intensity of i1 if i am using y1 in the numerator i will take the intensity of i2 with the help of this i can uh, calculate i4 okay now coming to i5 if i want to calculate the intensity of i5 now which two points i will use point 2 and 3 okay point 2 and th uh, 3 is used because it is connecting point 5 point 5 is in between point 2 and 3 now what will be the formula two points that are that uh, whose intensity i already know is 2 and 3 point now in denominator it will come y3 minus y2 y3 minus y2 and in numerator as you know y y2 is negative so it will remain negative and we will minus it from y5 and y2 is used in a numerator so i will take the intensity i3 and uh, coming to the uh, second part here y3 minus y2 in this part y3 is positive so i have to keep it positive y3 is positive minus y5 okay and as i am using y3 in this part so i will multiply with i2 okay coming to p point if i want to calculate the intensity of point p now which two points are connecting uh, this p point uh, p point that is 4 and 5 okay now denominator uh, method will remain same x okay remember this thing that in the previous formulas i use the y coordinate but for calculating the value for the p point i have to use the x coordinate okay now for this x5 minus x4 x5 is positive so it will remain positive minus xp i am using x5 in the numerator so multiply with intensity i4 okay now x5 minus x4 denominators always remain same as i have told you in the previous formulas and as x4 is negative so xp minus x4 and using x4 will uh, lead you to multiply x5 okay now coming to the last thing that for example if i know the intensity of point intersecting with one scan line and i want to calculate the uh, intensity of the point intersecting with the another scan line that comes in between the same point uh, uh, for example i came between this i1 and i2 and i dash also come between the i1 and i2 so this i will help to calculate the intensity of i dash how it will help we will use the formula i dash is equal to i that is the previous intensity we have calculated plus i2 minus i1 upon y1 minus y2 okay that's it for this video please like and subscribe my channel and in our next video we will do form shading